Hello and welcome to another Online Business Realm video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at the channel. So it's that time again. It is Tech Tuesday. So for today's Tech Tuesday video, we're going to be showing you how to animate. Now, if you've watched our other videos, you know we're a big fan of Creative Cloud by Adobe. And so if you're a member of Adobe Creative Cloud for $49.99, you can get access to all of their apps. So I've been working on a project recently and I needed to learn how to animate. I have no experience animating. I can do graphic design. I'm, I'm self-taught on everything, so I don't have a lot of professional training. And to be honest with you, I like to learn as I go. So I began trying to figure out how to use this program and it was super, super, super confusing. And I tried watching some videos but they were all so long, and they wanted to explain all kinds of stuff that I don't really care about. All I want to know is how do I animate? How do I take one object and move it to another object or another place on the screen? So this was my first attempt right here at animating. If you look up here at my layers, I didn't name my layers. Man, it was a mess. These, All these little dots... Uh, are not supposed to be there. The long and the short of what I did is I moved frame by frame. So I would go to this frame and then I would come down here and I would move the shape. And so what it would be is it, it, it feels really blocky. I also made it only 10 frames per second because I thought I had to move it for every one. So this is a little bit, uh, or this is what my final product looked like. And it, it seems real rigid. It's because I didn't have the right frames per second. But the long and short of it is, in one weekend, I totally figured out how to animate. And I want to teach you how to do it too with Adobe Animate. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to New. So click New up here under File. And we are going to be working in ActionScript 3.0. And you want the width to be 1280 by 720. And you want your frames to be 24 frames per second. So we want 1280 by 720 because it makes the screen not so large, but it will still export in 1080p. So here we go. One of my major complaints about this program is you can't use your two fingers on your trackpad to minimize and maximize the screen. There may be a shortcut to that, but I just put it on 50%. You can change this number up here uh, 75 is actually a pretty good number, I believe. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and we are going to steal the elements. So let's steal the skyline. We just hit Control X for that. So let's name this skyline. Okay, then we just click and paste. Okay. All right, we want to resize it. To resize it, you got to click this. Uh, spotted rectangle with the arrow on it. So another thing is the resizing is kind of weird. It resizes from the middle. So as you see as I do that, both sides move instead of just the right side. So I'll get that figured out. There might be a shortcut for that. But my whole goal today is just show you guys how to do this and how quick you can animate a video. So, okay, so I got that done. Okay, so let's go back over here and let's get our sky. So we just clicked on it. Hit Control X or Command X like I do using a Mac. Come back over here. Let's go ahead and paste that. Oops. Before we do that, we need to add a new layer. So uh, right click on the left side of the paper icon there and hit Insert Layer. And then double click to rename your layer. Rename this sky. All right. Now this is going to go underneath the skyline, so we'll paste it in there. And let's just make sure it covers the entire area. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add another layer for the clouds and the sun. So we'll just add two more layers here real quick. Insert layer, insert layer. And the clouds are going to be on top of the sun. So we're going to type cloud here. And then for layer three, we're going to do sun. Okay. 
All right, now let's grab the clouds, hit Command X or Control X, and make sure we've clicked on the right layer, paste that in there, okay? All right, now let's click on the sun, and let's go get our sun, and we'll be ready to animate this sucker. Okay. All right. Okay, so what we're going to want to show here is we're going to want to show the clouds moving from left to right off the screen, and we're going to want our sun to end up down here behind the building. We're going to want the sun to set. So I'm going to show you guys just how easy this is. Let's say we want this to take about two seconds. So here you have your frames. As you remember, we did 24 frames per second. So right here on the 24th frame, you'll find one second. Of course, here for 48, you would find two seconds. So all I'm going to do is click on this first box next to cloud, and I'm going to drag it over to two seconds. Okay, now they're all highlighted. I'm going to right-click and hit Insert Frame. Okay. So these dots represent what's called a keyframe. And in a keyframe basically means it starts the action. So, you know, if I if I didn't want the cloud to appear until the 10th frame, if I don't want to appear at all, then I would click this, I would right click and I would hit insert keyframe. And then here I would just basically delete the cloud and then you would see that it appears on that keyframe. So, we'll command Z a couple times to undo so we don't want to do that for our video. And so, as you remember that I showed you in the beginning, on, on this one here, um, well, everything's gone. Let me move it all back, guys. As you remember I showed you here, it's real blocky. You know, real blocky, the cloud disappears. But look at all my keyframes here. That's not right. It took me a couple trial and error to get this. But basically, you're going to want to use what's called a classic tween. The classic tween is the easiest one to use. So we want the, the cloud, okay? The cloud is going to move from left to right. So what we want to do is we're just going to double click, double click anywhere on this frame. I'm sorry, right click it. For Mac, I double click and hit create classic tween. Okay, now wherever I move the cloud based upon the frame, it's going to go. So I want it all the way off the screen on the last frame. So as you notice, the little red pointer here, I moved it all the way to the last frame. Now I can grab my cloud and move it over here to the right, off the screen. Now check it. Boom. Not blocky. 24 frames per second. Very fast. It's really moving. And we did two seconds. We could have slowed it down a little bit. But now let's get the sun. So we're going to do the same thing with the sun. Now, we want the sun to actually be beneath the skyline layer. So click on that layer and drag it underneath. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to hit cl uh, Create Classic Tween. Okay. So we're going to start with the sun there. But, you know, we could do some pretty crazy stuff with the sun, with this tween. We can move it here, and we can make the sun go here. And then we can move this over here, make the sun go up here. I understand this doesn't make sense. Uh, astronomy wise but just giving you guys a little lesson here so now when we play the video it's gonna like do all kinds of crazy stuff bounce around bounce around bounce around so that's not what we want for our actual video so I'm gonna command Z to undo all of that till I get back to one tween okay now so I'm gonna move back to the first frame and put my sun where I want it so we're gonna put it right here now let's move it all the way over here. And now let's move our sun where we want it. We want it to end up down here, right underneath, just off the screen where we can see. And now watch. We're going to hit play. Clouds move. Sun moves fast, not blocky. And boom. It's just that easy to animate. And obviously, moving shapes is a lot different than moving characters. But it's all the same concept. And this concept you learned about the keyframes, frames, and classic tween. I've been animating all kinds of stuff this weekend just knowing that alone. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this has been much faster than other animation videos you've seen to get started with Adobe Animate. Very simple, very easy to use, as long as you kind of have a feeling for what you're doing. So 
I hope you're going to be able to make some cool videos off this. If you do, you know, drop us a comment, give us a link, show us some stuff that you were able to make. And, you know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, obviously, to stay up to date with everything on Tech Tuesday and all the other cool things we do every week. Right now, our Crypto Thursday videos are really hot. So uh, if you're into cryptocurrency, don't, don't forget to watch those. And until next time, get out there and make some money. Thank you.